What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a RF module, well, yeah, RF module from the Xbox 360, which is this piece right here, to connect the Xbox 360 wireless controller to your Xbox One uh, using the uh, Xbox app and uh, the streaming feature where you can stream Xbox One uh, game play and everything to your Windows 10 computer. So uh, everything you'll need is you'll need a USB end like this one, which came from my play and charge kit. I mean, it was broken. So I already, I mean, I, it was like a waste just to have it around. So I cut it up and use that. You will need a 5.1 volt uh, diode. I use this one. Uh, you need a soldering iron, wire strippers, flux, solder, and some scissors. And of course, a Windows 10 PC. I mean, that should be it. And uh, before, before you take the uh, RF module off the Xbox 360, before you disconnect it, you should uh, connect the Xbox 360 controller to that Xbox 360 while before you you know take it off it can be a I took mine off of a Xbox 360 it was my first one and it had the red ring of death so yeah I mean I really didn't need it anymore I was borderline about to throw it away but I found out that you could connect it to the uh, Windows 10 PC and connect the 360 controller to it but yeah you can connect it to one with the red ring of death but you have to be really really quick like when you hit the power button for the uh on this little module when you have it up connected to the red ring of death 360 you have to connect it like almost instantly because um on mine it, it had me where i had like three seconds before the red ring of for the uh, red rings like cut on so i only had like three seconds to connect this controller right here i connected this the 360 controller yeah i only had three seconds to do that so you have to be really 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 quick but uh as soon as you get that i'll show you how to hook it up so this diode right here let's see if it'll focus yeah with this diode it goes on the from looking from this angle it goes on the rightmost uh solder joint on the four that's like at the bottom the four solder joints at the bottom it goes on the rightmost one and make sure when you connect it that you have the black line you know on the on the diode facing towards the joint or else, I mean, if you don't, if you have it upside down, it will not uh, cut on at all. So it'll be like a wasted project. Then the other wires goes as follows. White goes on the next, green and black. So yeah, you will know how, you will need to know how to um, use a soldering iron. I mean, if you're not good with it, I would like, I mean, it wouldn't really hurt anything if you're taking it from a, broken 360 but I would recommend you not to do it if you don't know how to use a soldering iron and uh, all together this probably everything together right here I already had wire strippers and I already had solder and a soldering iron but the diode only cost me uh, like two dollars off of eBay this cost it about I guess like four dollars and that's it i mean you could buy a usb like uh the phone charger usb for like a couple of dollars too if you don't have a spare one that you don't need but once you're once you get it connected that way once you have all the joints connected you'll want to plug it into the laptop Let's see if i can do this with one hand Without messing anything up, since I haven't put in, uh, 
the uh, glue on it yet. You'll want to plug it up and you'll hear the sound when it comes in. Mine is already connected right here and it should come straight up and it should show uh, 360 controller that's being connected all up. Yeah, this is the one. I had it set up different in a different USB port. But you should be able to connect it and it'll pop up. Yours will pop up as unknown. So when when it does pop up, you should just right click it. It'll it should have like an arrow, uh, a yellow triangle, I need to say. And you want to go to update driver software. Then you want to go to browse my computer and go to let me pick from a list of selected device drivers on my computer and when you do you'll get this whole list you'll get a big list of uh, drivers that you can select from i originally had it connected with a wireless receiver on this one and it let me play uh, steam games uh, any other games from like the Windows Store, that type of stuff, but it wouldn't let me connect um, straight to the uh, streaming, like uh, from the Xbox app. It wouldn't recognize it when I um, stream. So uh, after some time thinking about it, I selected this one because I was like I was really worried that it probably wasn't going to work. So I, I selected this one right here it has to be the updated one the version 10 with the date being the newest version possible and this older one is the older one and you click next since i've already done this i don't need to i mean it should go straight up and it should tell you that it's installed but from there you open your xbox app might take a while yep and when you have it the Xbox app on you go to connect to Xbox one and I already have my Xbox one on playing killer instinct and you click stream and it should come up right up and this is with this controller, just so you know. I mean, like, uh, I would recommend not using the <laughs> the 360 controller because uh, D-pad. I hate the 360 D-pad, but everything works perfectly. I mean, you know, you shouldn't have any con any trouble at all. I mean, it doesn't even doesn't lag at all. I mean, it works just like if you plug the uh, Xbox One controller into the uh, PC, which is automatic. You don't have to set up drivers or anything. But that's it. It should work perfectly. Like, I was... It's only really a five-minute job once you get all the parts. But, no, it's easy. And, you got, like, I'm sure everybody has... If they had a 360, they had more controllers that they didn't need. I mean, it's easy. I mean, you just connect it to it and go for it. All right. So uh, in the comment section, tell me if it worked for you. If it did, subscribe. I may be doing more of these kinds of videos. And if you have questions, you can write it in the comment section. All right.